Now it turns to part two. Part two. You are going to hear the president of Australia Retailers Association give his welcome address at a convention. First, you have some time to read questions 11 to 14. As you listen to the first part of the talk, answer questions 11 to 14. Could I have your attention for a few minutes, please? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Norman Flagstaff, President of Australia Retailers Association. On behalf of the organising committee for our third annual Retailers Convention, I'd like to welcome you all some of whom come as far as Brisbane and Melbourne, to this wonderful convention centre in our fair capital, Canberra. And hope you make most of your stay. We have been very lucky with the weather, and I sincerely hope that it keeps up for the rest of the week, and maybe even the following. No, <laughs> I'm sure we won't be that lucky. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce that we have received a record number of registrations for this year's week-long convention. For the first five days, we will be hosting more than 250 participants for the lecturers and workshops. And hopefully, up to 300 will be coming for the following two days of commercial demonstrations. Another first is we have a record number of speakers, up from 20 last year to 25 this year, as well as having three guest speakers from abroad, who I'm sure will provide us with a great deal of information of how business is conducted in Britain, and also, I think it's the United States, is it? No, no, sorry, Canada. You'll note that we will be able to offer other overseas speakers in the next few years from different countries. Now you have a chance to read questions 15 to 20. As the talk continues, answer questions 15 to 20. For those of you who won't attend the lunchtime meeting, there are plenty of places to go. The famous Italian restaurant, Peroni's, is not too far from the convention centre. From the centre's entrance on King Street, just go straight to the street to the Mime Park, through the Hero's Arch, at the other end of the park, cross William Street, and it's right next to the bank. The Jumbo Sandwich Shop for quick snacks is also nearby. From the centre, just turn right up King Street and turn left into Queen Street. Go along Queen Street until you get to the William Street, then turn right. You'll spot it right next to the William Street Underground Station. Slim's Vegetarian is also nearby. Just turn left as you leave the centre into King Street. Cross over Elizabeth Street, and it's on your left, directly opposite the church. Finally, the Geneva Bistro is always a popular place, this area. It's located behind the church on William Street. Please make sure you're back on time, though. We don't want to finish too late. On the second part of the day, I'm afraid we will make a few amendments to the programme. It's important to note that the afternoon session will begin at 2.30pm and will be finished at the time indicated on your programme. There have also been a couple of venue changes. The first being the talk on marketing by Jane Howard, which one now will be held in the green room on the second floor. The workshop on distribution of goods will not be given by Sarah Moore, but by her sister Barbara, due to an unforeseen illness in the red room on the second floor. We hope she'll be back on her feet in no time. It's good of Barbara to step in right at the last minute. Finally... The workshop on advertising by Peter Newstead has been cancelled due to an airline dispute. On Friday, we'll be starting off the day with a new video presented by the Dow Keys Company as part of their opening lecture on merchandising. That's Friday the 27th. That's all for the moment. If you require any further information regarding the convention, you can talk to one of the many convention helpers wearing a distinctively blue and gold jackets. One thing before I finish, if there are any problems with times and locations of the day's activities, please remember that there is a notice board on the first. Is it the first? Yes, the first floor. 
Now, we hope you enjoy yourselves and we look forward to seeing you again. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spob. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.